In this video we will have a look at some general settings that need to be set for the operator by the admins. They are found in Settings, General Settings. We are going to look at the first tab here. False two-factor authentication for all users applies additional security measures to all users of Leon. I'll link a dedicated video up here and in the description below. Region specify the date and time format to either European or American. It will be applied in the Ops panel data. Default fuel and weight unit, that's for the whole fleet. You can set each aircraft individually in the fleet settings. It will take priority over those here. The default airport category. This is set for all airports in the system. The individual ones are set per airport in the airport directory in the tab category. Here we set the main currency of the operator and currencies and units for fuel in the system. Options will change position of aircraft in calendar. If it ticks, a flight that's not confirmed will relocate the aircraft in the calendar view. If it's not, then the options will have no say in the aircraft location. Display the experience table enables a table in the user's profile where you can enter the pilot's past cumulative flight times. This is used for the report crew block time. The crew panel, manual or auto publish. This setting determines whether the changes made in the crew panel are published automatically or request manual publishing. Crew age validation issues a warning when adding a flight with a crew member over 60 or 65, depending on the setting. The timeline additional markers are some extra lines in the timeline which mark point in time when certain tasks need to be completed. These are completely customized by the admins and are just an additional visual feature. Here's the section on the markers in our manual explaining it in detail. This is a timeline setting so please bear in mind it will be removed from this section in the near future. Leon Inbox settings refer to the Messages dashboard, which is just an internal Leon Inbox. And here we can create the bases that your company operates from. The idea of the bases is that if you have more than one branch, let's call it, you can create those here by entering the name, it can be anything, and the time zone. To add a new one, use the green arrow, and to remove one, use the red cross. Once those are set, you can assign aircraft and users to those which allow to operate within that one base without the unnecessary information. For example, I'll assign this user to one of the bases and one of the aircraft as well. Now, as an admin, I can select which base I'm working on in the Ops panel, or I can just select all. The selected base will only include the items we assigned to it. Okay, so that's it for the general settings. Make sure to set those accordingly to the requirements of your operator. And if you have any additional questions, feel free to visit our online manual or contact our support team.